we're Donna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Um, so if you are just watching for the first time, uh, my name is Rodonna Ludlow. I am a hairstylist for over, well, 22 years. Anyway, um, and I have five kids and an amazing husband and just love where I live. Anyway, so that's a little bit about me. Um, now, the next video that you're going to watch is a dear friend of mine that I met um, from my uh, YouTube channel, my website. So I'm really excited to have her today. Glad that she is um, going to let me show her haircut. I want to tell you how we met. Um, I was in Conoco, which you guys are going to know really fast how much I love my Diet Mountain Dew. Anyway, I go in there every single morning. So she was in there one morning and she is saying, she's kind of looking at me and she said, wait, is your name Redonna? And I said, yeah. I And she's like, what? I've seen you on YouTube. I cannot believe this. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So we just started talking that way because she had seen me on uh, watching my videos. Anyway, little did I know, she lives about, I would say 40 minutes to an hour away from me. Anyway, so she started to come get her hair done for me. So it's been about a year and I'm really excited to um, put her on my website and have you guys meet her. She's darling and you guys will love her haircut. So um, yeah, just stay tuned and, and go ahead and watch. And she's darling, um, very good friend of mine. So I hope you guys um, have a great day and enjoy this video and uh, just stay tuned. Thank you much, you guys. Hi guys, I'm Rodonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. If you guys are just watching for the first time, I am a stylist for over 22 years, and so I'm excited to have you on and watch um, this fun haircut. So, if you've seen right before this, this is Kathy, the one I was telling you about. Um, she is super fun, and um, go ahead and tell them a little bit about the story. It, okay. it's, it's really fun. Well, a couple of years ago, I had a symmetrical haircut. And I was trying to find somebody who could cut it like that or help me style it like that. So I started watching things on YouTube. And I came upon a YouTube channel and lo and behold, it was Radonna, but I didn't know Radonna. Right. <laughs> but I always want to say Radonna. It is, it's Radonna. Okay, you got it, you got anyway. it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I watched a few things from her and I thought, oh, I wish she lived around here because my hairstylist is going to be retiring and I need a new hairstylist. But, you know, I just thought that was a pipe dream. So, <laughs> Thank you. I was in Nephi one day at the Conoco getting a drink and from across the room I saw this gal with the cutest haircut and I That's looked and saw her haircut and then I looked closer and it was Radonna. So and so I went up to her and I started talking. I said, are you the gal on the YouTube channel? And she said, yes, I am. Anyway, yeah. so I asked her where she lived and she said, Nephi, and I, could, I was so excited, really. <laughs> because, so sweet. I love it. Because <laughs> I just, I thought she just lived, I didn't even know she lived in the state of Utah. Right. And I was She's so fine. excited. So she gave me her name and number and when... My hairstylist retired last year. I got a hold of Donna, and here I've been ever since. Yep, ever since. And, it's and we been finally great. have the video. I'm so excited. It, so thank you for sharing that. It has been super fun. Um, we get to know each other. She was a nurse for a lot of years, so helped a lot of people. Um, anyway, she's a good person. So thank you for letting us have you on here, and I'm glad you guys get to meet her and, and how we met. It's super fun. So I'm going to show you her haircut. Um, she likes it um, short and easy too, right, Kathy? Right. <laughs> and I just come across the back here, just straight across. Um, you can see kind of the shape <clears throat> that it's in now, but we're obviously going to shorten that up. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I just come along the back here. All right. And then I'm going to start here in the crown area. We're going to take about... Well, about that much off. That's about half an inch. Um, and I'm gonna just pull this at 90 degree and then when angle, and then back here, I'm gonna start to um, come in a little bit, angle in, kind of about a 45-ish here angle. 
Um, just because she likes it a little bit tighter to her head, so she doesn't have to deal with it, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's always makes it easier. And then I just come to the side of it, same thing. And I just go from this guide point that I've already cut here um, for that area. And then, and if you guys want to section that out, like section, you know, vertical uh, sections that way you can, but I just like to take my comb, push everything out of the way, you know, and then just take the next section. Cause you can see, you can see with that, that hair that you've cut before, um, like I said, to be your guideline. So that's how I keep track of where I am in the haircut. Okay. Same thing, just 90 degree from the head until you get about from, you know, halfway down here. Then that's when I start the angle to come in. All right, and, and she has fine, she doesn't have thin, thin hair, uh, but it's it's definitely fine. She definitely says she has less hair now, right? <laughs> you can <Correct>. say. <laughs> but, um, and, and this cut would work obviously for thicker hair also. Um, you at the end would just want to do more texturizing just to give it more movement um, so it's, it's not just, you know, stuck right in that cut. You could definitely texture it and give it more movement. Okay, and then I just hold it out here from the head. You guys can see. Okay, then I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. I always like to hold the hair in my fingers this way and rest my shears that way and just come on down then, sorry, let me get to this side. Then after I cut that, then I do this. And then I just bring my shears down here. And just make sure you comb, get all those little hairs. Okay. All right, now this side, same thing. I'm just gonna start in that middle. I always like to point cut. Just gives it a little bit of movement on the end so it's not a thick fill. Okay, again, you just angle in here. Okay, start here, do the 90. Okay, so you can see that on this, you know, side, you just angle in still. Okay, and then hold this out. You can see on the side, see how I'm, I'm doing that on an angle instead of straight out like this, because I don't want that length here. And I'll take a little bit more off of that here in a minute, and you'll see how I do that. Okay, remember I hold my fingers out this way to get that area. And then I comb the hair down this way. Take the hair away from the ear and the neck. Okay, then to um, double check this, you can just come back up this way. And just point cut into that if there's anything that's sticking out um, out of place at all you can just kind of cut into that that's why it's good to point cut okay okay now i'm just going to check this side Sorry, I keep saying K. I just talk and walk myself through this. <laughs> I say K and um a lot. 
but if you've watched me, you already know that. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the top, okay? I'm gonna pull this up. You can see how this is a little bit longer. I'm just gonna come straight across here with this. Are you guys loving this fall, by the way? <laughs> I am loving it. It is like the best. Except, depending on where you're at, the weather could be very different, obviously. Okay, so by the ear, you're going to hold this out. Okay. See? See how I connect this with the top? Like that, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this out. Might cut into that so it's all kind of uneven a little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna come by her ear. You can see I'm just gonna cut into that and come this way for the front. See, can you guys, and then you can just take your comb there and I'm going to um, come back and texturize this too, so it'll give it movement. But um, I'm gonna show you how to connect this again. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up to that layer, see that? Okay, hold that out. Let's chop into that. That doesn't make you nervous when I say chop into that, does it? <laughs> Me? <Nervous>? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you know what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I'm just going to come on this angle this way. Okay, now I'm just going to take, and I'm, I'm doing this kind of slow, if that makes sense, like this. Not, I'm not going in and chopping it like this. You just kind of do it a little slower so you have control of how much and where your shears are taking it, okay? Um, now, obviously, when you dry, it's going to shrink a little, so you want to make sure you don't take too, too much off. But I like to come through here on an angle, okay, take the length off, and the other thing I like to do is dry first, and then if I need to take more after, um, then you can. Now, I'm just going to clean up her neckline. Oh. Oh, I just need to plug that baby in. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I thought it was plugged in. Okay, we're just going to clean that up a tiny bit. Okay. Now, texturizing shears. Super fun. So you can see how this kind of is laying flat. Okay, see that? I'm going to hold that up, and I'm going to take about a half an inch up here. And I'm just going to open and close those shears as I go up the hair strand. What that's doing is that's putting little hairs, it's cutting little hairs into there. So the longer hairs uh, lay on top of the short hair. So it gives it volume. Okay. And of course I like to come through the, the front area a little bit to give it movement. Okay. Now you can just comb that excess hair out. And then if you go like this, see how that stands up? Okay, that's, that's huge. <laughs> that will help you in a haircut, okay? Um, where before, it was just laying down, but if you go like this, it can stand up, okay? So if you do this and it's still kind of limp in some areas, then just go ahead and go back and add some more, okay? All right, now I'm going to make sure the sides, make sure the sides. Of course, you can do this when it's dry too, but you want to hold these out and make sure the sides are even. Okay, tiny 
pretty bit long on this side. Okay. All right, guys, now the root lifter. We are going to, well, I'm done with, with the cut. So what I'm going to do is um, do the style in just a minute. I will get with you to do that and you can watch that next. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys this. See how it looks a little heavy here? I'm gonna just come in, take a little bit more there, okay? Okay, so we finished the cut and we will style here in just a minute. Thanks guys. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take the root lifter and this is really, really good for volume, okay? So if you're having a hard time with volume, this is huge. So you just spray it through the root area, then you just take your fingers back and forth. Um, the link is below if you need any of these products to help you or get with us and we can help to see what products you need. Okay, then the mousse, you shake this up. They're all natural products, which is really good. Okay, you just take a tiny bit, rub this in. Okay, and then after that, since her hair is fine um, and a little thinner, thin compared to what she's used to, I'm going to take the thickening spray, okay, and you just spray a little bit. You don't want to spray too much because it's a very concentrated product and you only have to use a little bit. It lasts a really long time. Okay, so I let that stay in there. And now, the fun part. Now I'm going to drive that back and forth. Okay. And she goes more this way, so for a minute I'm going to drive this way, just to give it some extra body. Then I'm going to head back this way. Okay, now the epic wet brush. If you guys have watched me before, sorry, as I'm yelling, as you guys have watched me before, um, this I just go back and forth after it's not dry dry, but, but not sopping wet, okay? Um, this gives that volume. And it dries it really even. And I love this brush because it can take care of um, styling it for you without having to use a round brush. Um, I know a lot of people have a hard time with a round brush, so this is a good way to help style it. Okay. Easy enough, right? <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is just take a tiny bit um, of the oil, just two little drops. This doesn't only shine, it doesn't coat the hair. Um, it does make it shine, but this can penetrate inside of your hair strands to condition it. So it's that's a great, great way to have it soft and shiny and condition at the same time. So can I ask you a question about that product, Cordana? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, do you use that? every time you style your hair or just like after you've washed it? Yes, no, every time. Yep, every time. And what's nice is anything that's left over in the hair, um, if I wash with, we always wash twice with our shampoos, mm -hmm. so it takes any excess anything out of your hair. So no matter what, your hair's getting exactly, you know, the amount that it needs. So that's a really good question. So yeah, she was asking like, is that something that you do just, you know, once every little bit? Um, no, we have some masks that we do that with, but this oil you can do every time um, because it will go inside your hair strand and you don't need a ton. Like I said, I did just a couple tiny little drops, um, makes it really shiny and then it does go into those ends and um, condition. And then, 
Does that answer your question? Like, yes. is that okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Thanks for asking the question. I like that. Okay, so I'm just back combing you guys back here. Um, I like to spray when I back comb because it helps it stay in. This hairspray is very um, light, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel sticky, I guess I should say, because it, it holds. Um, and this one I'm doing, this one's the regular hairspray that that holds. I do have a, a little stronger one, but this one's really nice because when you get up in the morning, the hair is so manageable with this product that you can just get up and put your fingers through it and See, that's cute. I'll show you guys that side. Okay, and then again, just back comb this top like this, and then I'm going to spray. And that oil can be used on your skin, on your dark spots, on sunburns, on diaper rash, anything. <laughs> it's amazing for anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn her to the mirror so I can see. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking this, just kind of separating. Um, Kathy likes her hair soft, um, so we're not gonna put like a styling finishing product, which some of you guys really like. Um, some of the styles that I usually do, they like the, the pomade after the clay, um, but she just likes it soft. And so I wanted to show you guys how cute it is without that other finishing product. Okay, so I'm gonna turn her around so you guys can see. How does it look? Kathy, you like that? Did I, are you down too low? <laughs> you might be down too low. Okay, you guys, there's Kathy's cut. And I really appreciate you guys jumping on um, your great friends. Um, I appreciate it. So if you can please like, share, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And go ahead and follow me over on Instagram, Evolution of Verdana. Um, we are going to be doing some fun things, revamping things. And um, I'm gonna be doing tips over there. We're gonna start putting those videos up um, this weekend. So anyway, I would appreciate that. And you guys, thanks again. It's fun to get to know all of you and I hope you have a great day. Thanks guys.